rats and unsafe living conditions put a Blaine family in jeopardy. Yeah, you know, rodents in the house aren't the only problem here. There are plumbing and safety issues as well. And when the couple moved to East Tennessee last summer, well, they were told the house was ready to move in. WATE 600 side consumer reporter Don Dare visited the couple and also talked with that landlord who is trying to evict the young family. Hi. What are you doing? As Trista Vidalis comforts her newborn baby girl, Kinsley, she worries about the health of her infant and her other two kids. That's because there are rats in the basement of her rental home. Trista and her husband have put poison down and removed several dead rats daily. When you moved here from Florida, what were you expecting? A house where we could just move in, and he told us everything was good. Last July on Craigslist, Trista and her husband found this 68-year-old, one-bath, three-bedroom, 1,500-square-foot basement home in Blaine. It rents for $950 a month. But as John Keene chased a live rat skittering across the basement floor, little did he know last summer the place was infested. Rats. There's dead rats everywhere. Actually, here's one right here. You can come over here. This is plastic up, and so you can see the feces, okay. all the rat poop. They, this would have fell down if I did not put plastic here. They're living in our walls, in our basement. They're tearing my insulation out of my walls. That's not all. The kitchen sink has leaked since the day they moved in. Um, I've tried, fixed it multiple times, but the water, once you run it, it runs right into our basement, all the way down our electrical panel. Uh, this is the the drainage for um, my house. Just uh, it's a wide open hole. It drains into the ground. Outside, the basement door doesn't lock. A safety issue that concerns John. He's attached a wire to keep it from opening fully. My house is unsecure. Is this the way it was when you moved in? Yes. Shortly after arriving last August, the couple asked their landlord and property manager to make repairs. It didn't happen. As a result, John, who's a carpenter, said they skipped September's rent. So I don't feel that I should have to pay you. you I want some stuff fixed. And the guy rest assured me if I paid money, he would fix these things. In early October, when Trista lost her job as a medical technician because of COVID-19, she applied and received federal emergency rental assistance from a local housing agency. I applied for Clinch Powell, and they paid 3800 which was September, October, November, and December's rent. Directly to? Dwight Collins. As of January 8th, you owe Dwight Collins the amount of $1,000 plus late fees. John showed us a handwritten eviction notice signed by Collins, sent days after that final payment from Clinch Powell had been made to Collins. Landlord Dwight Collins and property manager Tina Root. If this is not paid on January 15th, the eviction court date will be on February 4th. But the Tennessee Supreme Court suspended all in-person court dates across the state until March 15th because of the pandemic. Fire marshal for the civil case. It was three years ago Dwight Collins, here on the left, appeared in Granger County Sessions Court. Christina Yarborough had filed a vandalism charge against Collins, then her landlord. The power to Mrs. Yarborough's mobile home had been pulled at the recommendation of the state fire marshal. Collins had been ordered by the state to make repairs because of multiple electrical violations. Collins took no corrective action, so Mrs. Yarborough stopped paying her rent. Collins sent her an eviction notice and then cut an electrical cord Mrs. Yarborough had hooked up to a generator so she could have heat to her home. In court, Collins agreed to a deal in February 2018. The vandalism charge against him was dropped, and in exchange, he paid a fine and court costs. Uh, Hi, Mr. Collins. Yes. We talked with Dwight Collins about the rental house in Blaine. He didn't want to appear on camera. So you have not seen the home since you rented it back in August? Uh, I personally have not been in the home. That's correct. The home has rats in it. There are electrical problems. Have you seen the rats? Yes, sir, we have. Huh. The Tennessee Landlord Tenant Act says landlords must comply with codes that affect health and safety and must make all needed repairs to keep the property habitable. If you were living in a home that had rats in it, would you feel safe in that home? I guess they need to find a place to go to. Yeah, right, right. He's referring to John and his wife. Getting out of the house is what they plan to do. I want to move. 
that's what I want. I want to get my kids out of here. Now, Dwight Collins has told us he has done nothing wrong. He said he has the right to evict people if they don't pay their rent. Now, the couple has not left the house yet. They said with three kids, with Tristan not working, and John working only part-time due to the pandemic, they don't have enough money to make another down payment on a rental home. The couple told us, however, they are actively looking for a place and hope to find a home soon. Summer. Oh, my, Don. Thank you very much. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or call his six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.